the legitimate worries about AI is the ability of people to do, to use it, to do bad things. Uh, and, uh, and, and some of the stuff that you've seen uh, bad things, oh, uh, you know, we've got a Taylor Swift example of a bad thing that was done with AI. AI has been used to put, I uh, guess, Taylor Swift, I think it was Taylor Swift, on, uh, on, uh, on uh, you know, a porn star's body, put her face on a porn star's body uh, as, um, as she commits sexual acts, as she stars in a, in a porn video, and it looks like, it looks like uh, Taylor Swift is on there, and, uh, and of course that is horrible. It's a violation of somebody's rights, but the, 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 laws, the laws are not, we don't yet have proper laws to protect ourselves uh, in these cases. We know that AI now can mimic a voice. I mean, AI can probably take my crazy accent and it can actually create videos of me speaking uh, that, are ex that sound like me and, uh, or videos or audio of me speaking. Uh, and you wouldn't be able to tell. So if you see audio of, of your own book advocating for communism, it's AI, it's an AI fig. Well, one, of, one example of this was in Slovakia. Slovakia or Slovenia? I think it was Slovakia. Slovakia, yes, yeah, Slovakia. Uh, where a fake recording of a political candidate, like two days before the election, went viral. The recording was sounded exactly like him. And um, uh, he was talking about how they'd rig the election. He was also talking about how he wanted to raise taxes on uh, beer, making beer much more expensive. You don't do that in Slovakia. Um, I mean, one can't tell if how much of an effect it had on the election, but he lost. He lost, you know, the, 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 the pro-Russia, anti-Ukraine um, uh, candidate won. And the, the pro-EU, pro-NATO won, lost. And, you know, Russia's very good at using AI for these kind of things. And it's, it's definitely possible right? Uh, it's definitely possible that uh, AI could swing an election by creating newsworthy audio or video that has a candidate saying stuff that they don't believe in, but that could have a real impact on, on an election. So uh, yeah, I mean, and it's interesting because they can deny it, you can deny it, but it's very difficult to identify and prove that a particular video or particular audio is fake. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is dealt with in the legal system uh, over time, but, and, and whether anybody is prepared for this. And I expect to see a bunch of this kind of stuff going into the U.S. 2024 election. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If, if the Russians and the Chinese and uh, do all kinds of things to kind of screw with our minds in terms of creating these AI generated audio or video. And how do you know? I mean, you have to assess whether something's reasonable or not, but it's, it's and, and, but, but we know, you look at, the, look at Taylor Swift being a, a psychotic operation of, 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 uh, of the Pentagon. People will believe pretty much anything. So the reason and common sense has gone out the window when it comes to elections. And, 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 and lots of players are going to utilize that for all kinds of weird effects. Uh, by the way, uh, that video that that Fox host, uh, Jesse Waters, showed of the woman presenting, and he said it's a Pentagon presentation in front of NATO, she doesn't work for the Pentagon. She is an academic. The conference was not a NATO conference. I mean, nothing about his reporting, nothing that he said there was true. Blatant lies, right? She's some academic. She was using this as an example. It had nothing to do with the Pentagon. It had nothing to do with NATO. He, it, it's all made up. And yet it created this firestorm in right-wing circles. That is still convinced the Super Bowl is rigged.